to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Good morning, but it might not be morning when you're watching this video. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are here in the truck. Um, we've got a little one in the back seat as well. This is actually this is my first time I've ridden in the front seat while Eva's in the back. I feel like it is. <laughs> I normally sit back there with her just because I am a helicopter mom, uh, but I also like to keep her company. But Today is part two of the Q&A that we started last week. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it below. Um, basically, we opened up our Instagram to questions, and so we're just kind of going through and answering them. And uh, we had a really great one that I wanted to include. Yes? Home sweet home. So I stayed in the front seat for approximately five minutes and then Eva asked for me to come back there. Well, she demanded that I come back there and sit with her, which is fine because we sit back there and we talk and she requests songs and we listen to Blippi songs on repeat. Um, so now we're home, so we're gonna unpack and we will get to, we will get to the questions. Okay, I could insert the little SpongeBob 15 hours later. <laughs> We're finally back in the car. We don't have Eva. She is with Matt's parents. So I thought we could get into uh, a couple questions and I kind of wanted to get obviously Matt's input on these. So the first one is, do we have any fun vacation plans for the summer? I'm looking at you because you are the plans guy. So yes, I, I do for work. I have to go to Atlantic City, but I, I hear terrible things about that. <sighs> So I'm not going to count that as a vacation. We're talking about the other, family vacation. Am I not talking about it right now? I'm going right into it. So <laughs> uh, I plan on going to the beach at one point. Um, one thing is my parents, when I was a little kid, bought a timeshare. We've held on to that thing for the longest time. So that's one thing we never use, and we have to use one by June or July. And so um, we're going to take one trip before then. We don't know where. I'm feeling the beach a little bit. Um, probably before like summer vacation for everybody else, so it's not packed and also overpriced in most ways. Um, and so I like rock ports. Either way, yeah, this our beach in Texas. It's not very pretty, but he was never seen a beach, so she's gonna she's gonna like it either way. I think. Mm -hmm. Well, she loves she loves all the sea animals. She loves seashells. She loves water. She loves talking about the ocean. Uh, so we should probably do Padre because then that's well, right next to Corpus, where there's also a really nice aquarium. That would be cool. But I also feel like the sand might freak her out. So we'll have to oh, we'll have no. to plan for that. She loves sand. She may get like, I'm I'm talking about like walking in it and getting it in her like her clothes. Yeah, she doesn't get between her toes. So we'll see. But um yeah, definitely the beach. So And then beyond that I know we're gonna go camping at some point. Um so that there's ideas, no specifics. So that's where we are. So camping. That's our life. Uh, really just <laughs> vacation is going to be local. Just probably just hanging around, just enjoying river. Stuff that we've never been able to really do with Eva in the past. Like, you know, it's like each year is like we can kind of experience things in more full. Like it's more of a full experience, I guess. And so really looking forward to just showing her more of my town and surrounding areas. New Braunfels. Probably go to San Antonio on the river walk and stuff like that. So... And then, yeah, we're going to go to the zoo. Yeah. Not a vacation, but... It's, they're all little mini vacations, and then the big ones, yeah, they're like the beach. Um, probably not going to go anywhere north. Like, no mountains, nothing like that. Unless it just happens. It could just happen. I don't know. Definitely not flying yet. No, no, no flying. No flying with, with her yet, because I don't... I just, I want her to be able to completely understand what's happening if we do fly anywhere. And I also don't want to have to worry about right now. Uh, I think there's still, I'm sure airlines are still requiring masks. I don't want to have to worry about her not wearing a mask because she will, I'm not going to put one on her. Yeah. Um, so we're 
we're just not gonna, we're just not gonna fly. So, problem solved. Um, yeah, that, I think that's most of it, um, as far as like our plans. Uh, is, and this is summer. Like, what does our summer vacation look like? Yeah, like yeah. Any summer plans. Like, yeah, so like, like spring trips. slash summer is what I'm talking about. And so, yeah, it's gonna be the, just those things. Cool. And then well, anything the else that comes up. I, I want the beach to happen for sure. Like, I don't. I know you're busy with work, but I want the beach to happen. Yeah. What happened to the contrast going on here? It looked better. <laughs> like well, washed everything washed out. out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're about to go to the rock gym. We're gonna climb. I'll show y'all some of that fun because it, we've been having a lot of fun at the rock gym lately. I've been feeling really good, and yeah, it's just exciting to feel good and start like performing better. But we'll show you some of that, and then we've got another question to answer. It's more so like, okay, so this one right here, you just I, I taped it up, and so it kind of like... You can't see it that well. It did bulge a little bit, but this one right here, oh, right. That looks like my ring finger, blood vessel. Special. Special. <laughs> had a minor, um, we call it like a tendon pop. Like so, 10 years ago. No, I'm saying like today. Oh. <laughs> I redid it. Cool. But not as bad as what happened like, it wasn't 10 years ago, it was like seven. Six. Good, good. So... Uh, all that said, injuries aside. Yeah. But yeah, no, I had a good <laughs> we don't climb. want to go down the route of Matt's injuries. I had a good climb before and a mm -hmm. terrible climb after, but it was okay. Mm -hmm. like, it was okay. Good day. Yeah, so good. overall, it was. Yeah, I climbed. Yeah, it was you good. climbed. So our next question that we had um, was sent over via Instagram. I just started my adventure in RV living and wanted to start a blog similar to yours. I was wondering if you could tell me how you got started and any, any advice that you might have. So, we've been on YouTube for a long time. Um, before we had the Wondering Wyatt side of things and RV life, now house life, uh, it was a fitness channel. So it was my personal brand, if you will, workouts, nutrition, kind of similar to some of the stuff that you'll be seeing here again. Um, honestly, like the my advice for anybody on YouTube and sharing their journey online, um, it doesn't have to be RV life. It's literally anything is just start. You don't have to have fancy equipment. You don't have to have the best camera, phone, mic, like just start. And really just how I see this is documenting our journey for us. 
And so I, I mean, I honestly love filming. I love editing. That's why I keep posting videos. It's because I just love it. It's a passion of mine. But really the, the main thing to do is just start. A lot of people try to overthink it. They think, okay, well, I need to, um, like some people think that they have to have like a certain direction of the channel. That is something that kind of comes over time. So you'll figure out like the niche that you fit into. If you do fit into one, um, you'll fit in, like you'll figure out editing as you go, but really just start. There are a lot of great free editing programs out there. I started using iMovie and then I went up and I've been using Final Cut Pro for several years now. Um, but really just start. So yeah, not just starting, but also continuing. So consistency is a big thing, like really big thing. You don't realize until after like you have this lull and you realize, oh, it's because I wasn't consistent or something along those lines usually happens. Uh, another big thing specific to RVing is, eh, maybe not just specific to RVing, but my mindset is around RVing when I say this, is uh, make mistakes. I mean, you're gonna make mistakes, but don't not document them. <laughs> a, you know, like show everything. You might as well, because other people are gonna learn from your mistakes. Other people learn from ours, and they also helped correct those mistakes. Yeah. So you're gonna get help online as well. Be honest. And, yeah, be honest about everything. But the thing is, it's like you're just gonna learn and instill those those mistakes into actual actual knowledge, which is what makes an adventure an adventure. Like you learn something on adventures, and so the reason why you called it that means that you're looking to learn something, take on some new project, and then of course you have to have fun. Out, out, out there, there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um being yourself obviously authenticity goes a long way in the realm of social media and the internet's right now what is it there's somebody stopped in the road what's happening they're laughing oh and she's driving okay so um being authentic being yourself and like you said kind of showing all aspects of your journey we started with our rv journey not knowing much and we were honest about it because I mean that's how I feel like that's how a lot of people get into things and, and new hobbies and lifestyles is they're like all right let's do this and we were just open about the whole process about buying the RV um, what we needed to get to be able to live in the RV our traveling issues and concerns and accidents and things like that and what was amazing is the community that we connected with in that process I cannot tell you how many of you watching this video reached out to help us in some really tough times. And so it was it was really, really awesome. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Reach out to the community. The RV community is, from what we have experienced, absolutely incredible. Very welcoming and just helpful and caring. And it's it's been incredible. So um, start, be yourself, and be consistent. Anything to add? Yeah, so on the equipment <laughs> side, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I always have something to say. Not always, but yeah, so the equipment side. So what we're filming on right now is a Sony EOS. It's uh we went through I think five of these. We've been four through a lot of cameras. You're gonna break a camera. So usually have a backup. It's a nice backup that's pretty consistent and pretty rugged. Obviously it's GoPro. They make them pretty well now. Um and maybe even invest in not invest it's not really expensive one of those external mics just a little tiny cheap 20 30 dollar mic the ones that you set in your like if you went to school you uh set set that in the in the office or not in the office but the, the room whatever you're you know recording a lecture or whatever those little things are like 20 bucks or something like that on amazon or whatever yeah and uh you just have to match up the sound with the video and you're off to the races, <laughs> I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I just wanted to use something there. Yeah, last last thing. Yeah, right. Uh, don't don't forget to look up this kind of stuff on YouTube. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of videos specifically about how to start YouTubing as an RVer. So, YouTube. Ask okay. questions on. And now we have one. <laughs> um, ask questions on I don't know that was a weird face, <laughs> was a weird face. Don't <laughs> on, do that on videos <laughs> like as you did with us on Instagram um, you know get a ton of feedback and trial and error but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there because I don't want to continue to ramble From you to a day in our life this is the show where you get a little bit of everything this is another episode of the Wonder Bill show The Wonder Bill Show.